Hi, thanks for joining in and uh, today what we are going to do is we are going to cover on a subject of market volatility. So how should investors be coping with this current situation of market volatility? So let's define this uh, volatility. So it is the degree to which your investment fluctuates in a certain duration of time. So the basic risk associated uh, with investments uh, leads to this volatility. So you have different asset classes having uh, different range of volatilities which is currently getting observed. So right now if you look at the stocks which you are holding is significantly affected. It has corrected to a huge uh, percent of dip. The index uh, of various countries have uh, significantly corrected. And, uh, and these are some of the key risk that we see but if you look at uh, bonds uh, the bonds haven't corrected so much uh, and bonds have been performing okay at this point of time and uh, uh, and the type of bonds i would say the type of bonds that you are holding if it uh, is invested in a good sovereign secured bonds then they have not uh, seen volatility if we look at gold it is performing well it is uh, right now stable as compared with what is happening in the equity market so uh, what are the factors which uh, leads to this market volatility so if we look at uh, that is because of the demand and supply for the stocks and uh, what could be the reason for demand and supply of the stocks is certain corporate news which is coming in economic fundamentals uh, how the economy is going to perform in the near future, whether the consumer confidence level is high, whether the investors are confident in the way the economy is going to perform in a short or a long term view and uh, what is uh, the political development in certain countries, uh, whether they are affecting your investments uh, which you are holding to and could be international conflict so right now if we look at the market volatility volatility it is because of uh, covid 19 which has significantly affected the market and we can see stocks corrected to a significant percentage so what should as an investor we be doing so if if your goal is retirement so whatever you have invested right now is for your retirement then the answer is do not panic there is nothing to worry volatility is a normal feature what we normally observe in market for a short period of time it could be because of different factors which we spoke about so which leads to this up and downs in the market and uh, as an investor if we try to sell our holdings at this point of time we will have significant losses so Staying out of market is also not correct at this point of time. So there are some investors what they have done is sold off their mutual fund and come out of the market. Is this the right approach? I would say that no, it is not the right approach. So you are losing on the uh, average cost buying for your mutual fund units. So you are missing out on that opportunity. And if you are holding good stocks of good companies and you sold off at a loss right now, I think it is not a uh, good decision. So what should as an investor we be looking at? So we should be looking at uh, diversifying our portfolio. So you could look at uh, diversifying your asset allocation into stocks, uh, bonds, uh, equity bonds, uh, sorry, uh, stocks, uh, bonds which is there. So good sovereign uh, rated bonds which is there. Though their returns will be less as compared to stocks but they are quite secured, invested in good uh, rated uh, bonds and then uh, you could hold into gold as well or cash equivalent so if you can also hold cash if you based upon your risk profile. So now based on your risk profile you should allocate what percentage of your portfolio should be in stocks, what should be in bonds, what should be in uh, gold and what should be in the cash equivalents. So this is very important. So this is the right time where you can rebalance your portfolio. Uh, market is changing dynamically with many of the good stocks uh, uh, beaten down and down by 
significant percentage so now you can rebalance your portfolio you can churn your portfolio where you can throw some of the companies which has not been performing because of corporate governor governance because of reporting standard because the company didn't have good management or they don't have the growth potential so if you find all these factors in the company uh, and then you should sell those companies and stick to companies which are having good management good products good growth potential good reporting standards and uh, the way company is managing the current crisis and with the communication with shareholders so all this are very key at this point of time so you can buy into such stocks which have been beaten down where you think that uh, they are going to bounce back not they i think everyone believes that they are going to uh, bounce back so one more key aspect is uh, as an investor we cannot time the market so that is the truth this is the fact that is there we can never time the market when the market is going to be up or down so if i look at the current situation uh, uh, sometimes i feel that index will go down but the following day when i log into the market the index is up and uh, when i think that in the index is going to be up it goes down so you can never time the market so what uh, we can do at this point of time we can uh, look at uh, Uh, averaging our cost price into the mutual fund units so if you are holding on to your systematic investment plans continue with it you can buy more of this unit at a lesser price and if you are invested in equity you can uh, buy good quality companies and the factors which i spoke about earlier at a low you are going to buy shares at a lower price so what uh, this uh, does is it helps you to limit the risk all at once so you are not buying everything at a peak price but you are staggering your investment across uh, the downturn of the market and then what you can also look uh, at is you can take advantage of the lower price at which some of the good stocks are trading so when you buy at this price uh, the the risk that you carry is uh, less as compared to what you would have bought when the market was at a peak value uh, as an investor what all you can do at this point of time is you have to be prepared with uh, the situation that is there in the market so it could go on for a very long period of time or it could be there for a shorter period of time when all the countries come together find some solution for uh, the covid-19 with some vaccine or some, some preventive uh, which is uh, developed across the globe and if you had some uh, short term goals like buying your car or maybe buying a house or something you could delay that investment until we get more clarity on the situation of how it is going to perform but if uh, the investment that you have done right now is for a long term duration then i believe there is nothing to worry about uh, if you are holding on to good companies good stocks uh, but you should look at good proper mix of uh, stocks bonds golds and your mutual fund asset class as well so you should look how you can diversify and holding cash as well so you should have cash with you so that uh, if there is any emergency you can tap on to this cash at any point of time and uh, overcome any financial stress which you face uh, because of this uh, slow down which has happened and uh, if i put all together what i have summarized right now uh one is uh, you should keep your end goals in mind second is you should diversify your portfolio into the right mix of asset classes based on your risk profile third is rebalance your portfolio regularly so depending upon how you are um, balanced in the market you can rebalance them based on your risk profile avoid market timing so you can never time the market and you can take advantage of the dollar cost ad- averaging which people talk about so in your mutual fund portfolio where you can keep on averaging your units to a lower price and uh, 
if you have specific short term and goal long term goals which you had short term goals right now like you wanted to buy some of the assets you can think of postponing it so that uh, uh, till you get a stability in the market to till you get a visibility on how things are going to cope up and uh, review your investments regularly keep reviewing don't just leave it because the market is down i'll not look at it right now i'll look at when the market reaches uh, the peak value again no you should keep on looking at your uh, investment regularly nurture them and uh, have a proper mix of your portfolio i hope uh, with whatever i spoke i uh, it helps you to face uh, the period of market volatility and these are all time tested approach which i have spoke about which works well in a long term perspective for an investor and i wish you all the best uh, for your journey in investment thank you